Shut up! We've begun. Hello, everyone. We're back, and Pissy's already angry. Yeah, because Eric's a dick! How? Explain. Prove it. I'm not gonna bother going Source? into it. Source? Source? <laughs> Source? Sauce? Give me sauce. Sauce? Sauce? Sauce. Ah! Jesus Christ, Homer. Ah! Stop it. <laughs> Homer! Alright, alright. All right. What'd you have for lunch yesterday? Uh... Fucking... I... Don't even oh, fuck know. Fuck you, just fuck off. It's Little Caesar's pizza! We had that for lunch today. Yeah. It wasn't Leftovers yesterday. from yesterday. Oh, okay. Eric, if you either had to dance in front of a large group of people or sing in front of a large group of people, what would you do? Sing or dance? Yes. Sing. Would you do both if you could? Um... I'm trying to think of it. Yeah, you probably would. This no. poor guy. We keep fucking with Gobi. So you just sing? Uh, you strike me as a yeah, dancer. Yeah, I would just do sing. You strike me as a dancer. I'm not I'm not a dancer. I will I will not even dance at my wedding. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Everyone else dance for me! You produce stuff for me. That's that's what I did to you every single time I made your life a misery, is I just fucking pound on you. Yeah, well it's not working this time, you're just fucking torturing this poor old camel. Quit lighting him on fire! I, I, he was in a desert once where camels like like to be. You Browse fucked through him up. the players, guy. You fucked him up so bad, he went here, and now it's hot. He doesn't like it here, and now you won't fucking leave him alone. Browse through the players, Browse guys. Browse through the players, guys. Browse. Pisces. To do what? For what? To figure out what I do with the camel. His name is Gobi. Gobi, Show yeah, respect. whatever. Fuck him. I'm not gonna fuck Gobi. I don't even see his name on this fucking thing. Man, this level sucks. Yeah, you do. Building bridges inside the volcano, Banjo, Kazooie, no, 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 I don't see Gobi's goddamn name anywhere, though! You sure it's not there just for fun and you actually are supposed to get something out of Gobi? I'm pretty sure, because, like, I know you have to interact oh, with him in this sure. world. Well, Eric, I'm trying to figure this shit out, and I got nothing. Ooh. Ooh, somewhere we have not been before. I could look again, but I'd rather be dead. So, I don't think I'm going to. Okay. And you're just gonna figure it out. Ah, uh, okay, pissy fit. Like, I'm doing the last browse, and I don't even see his name. Much less anything that explains what the fuck happens with him. Apparently, you're supposed to go into the fire shit as a snowball, though. Because in those two pictures, there's a snowball in the side of the volcano. What's, uh, what's it say for snowballing? Like, what's that do? The feathered and furry friends... <laughs> God damn it! The feathered and furry friends aren't able to push through the oil machine's buttons unless they're snowballing. Transform into the snowball, then roll up the incline to the warp pad. Make sure the snowball is as big as possible before you warp up, then select Hellfire Peaks up or level as your destination to use the snow Oh my god, when the snowball meets the hot hands, it can prevail with a rolling attack. The snowball shrinks a, a bit at the lava side, so roll up to snowy bank to build- Oh my god, roll up to the snowy bank to bulk up. You died, didn't you? I was looking at the screen, I hear the death thing. <laughs> Ah, uh, nope. You will defeat hot hands if you perform the rolling attack with the B button. So yeah, you can kill the hands with the B button. I think we actually did do that, come to think of it. We did, yeah. So, that was all for nothing. Yep, that's everything. <laughs> Eric, I fucking swear to God. <laughs> Fuck you, oh my God. That one was actually because the controller stick sticks. Oh, oh, it was the controller's fault, not you. You're just gonna- Oh my God. Jesus fucking Christ. An autistic parrot. With Down Syndrome could do this better than you fucking can. <laughs> I don't know what I do! You don't know what I do. God damn it! <laughs> Split up! Rhaegar. Jesus. Did it say Rhaegar? Like Rhaegar Targaryen? Game of Thrones? No? No. I know. I don't know why I was doing that when I know you haven't watched the show. Not gonna work, it's not Dude. gonna work! His uh -huh. vertical jump is not high enough to get above those things. So that yes, can't it is. be what it is. It just does not make the momentum. I can't get the momentum. You just jumped up and you did not reach the height. No, so what this, are you going to do? This jump. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. So what's the problem? Now, you don't, you don't have the distance. Oh my God, I'm fucking shit. Fuck. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. You told me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to do it. I mean, you fucking told me. Put it in. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, put it in! What do I do? What was your first job? Eric, what was your first job? Jewel. I know. Yeah, thanks. Legally. <laughs> For that crack dealer. <laughs> Sam, first job, what was it? Uh, White Castle? Fun. I was McDonald's. Oh, damn. I didn't even think about that White Castle was your first job. 
Yeah. Which, like, sometimes I feel like the White Castle around us has not been around that long. It and really then, hasn't. And then sometimes I think that it's been around forever. But in reality, it, yeah, it really hasn't. Was that the White Castle was... that you worked at? Yeah, the, the one, one that opened on up. Yeah. Oh, shit. And I've already been there for, like, two years before I started working there. Did you know Pierre? Yes. Yes, I know Pierre. Fucking Pierre, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking Pierre! Oh, I love that bastard. One day Pierre will watch this. He'll be very pleased that I name dropped him. You know, we've name dropped him a few times. Oh yeah. He is the most character friend I know. If anyone should get a sitcom, it's him. There the is weirdest motherfucker. I feel like there's never a time that the sentence "fucking Pierre" should ever be like a literal sentence, like <laughs> "blank fucking Pierre" or "blank was fucking Pierre." That's rude to Pierre. Saying he's a virgin. Uh, no, I'm just saying you know, like <laughs> no. Oh, I just I don't I don't know like. Is that your Pierre impression? Because <laughs> it sounds like it. I, I don't know, pissy. Like. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> God. Why? Damn it, Where is? Like, open up the map for this fucking ice level. Can you find a Me? flying pet? Yeah, please. Oh my good fuck, Eric. I come here to play these games for one reason. Out of respect for you as a friend. Not because I enjoy it. <laughs> not because I want to do it. Because you asked me. And now you asked me to do more shit. Shit I don't know how to fucking do. I don't even know what the logo for a flight pad looks like. It's like a blue circle with like oh, a yeah. red feather in it or something. No, no, not that. Not that, not that, not that. Not that, not that. Oh, wow, yeah, just shrink. Yeah, I wasn't using that. Thanks. I swear to God you're saying Rhaegar. Oh my God, come on. Where the fuck's the pad? Dude, there isn't one. Why? It's not on this menu, and it's not on this fucking map anyway. There's some warp points. It's the closest thing. Uh, you sure you're supposed to fly? I think. Oh, so you're not sure. She just asked me to do this, and you didn't even know. <laughs> you just... Do you see the problem with that? You just don't even know. There's a train. Yeah, there's warp pads. There's no fucking flying pad on this map. Though. In the on snow the, On the ice side. Damn. So, uh, yeah. Good luck with that. Let's pull out more questions from the question generator. <laughs> the generator of topics. Do you like to cook? Uh, depends on the mood I'm in. No. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that informative answer. Both of you, by the way. You really fucking nailed it there. What accomplishments are you most proud of? This is a good one. Ooh. Eric. Eric. Is it having 14 copies of Jerry Maguire on VHS in your living room? That's no, those aren't mine, though. I know, but maybe you're proud that it, ha it happened anyway. I guarantee you it's Zane's pr proudest moment. Uh, let's see, if I want to be serious or I want to be joking. Which actually, I don't even know if this would be joking or not, but I guess I'm kind of proud that I run a house with several people and handle all the bills. Doesn't and strike me as joking. Keep keep the house in order together as best as possible. Sounds legit to me. That's a lot of responsibility, and you're pulling it off. Yeah, own that shit. Damn, proud accomplishment. Go. Oh gosh, I don't know. I was trying to think of something. I can't. Name <laughs> random accomplishments you are proud of. Then, just anyone, even if it's not the most proud you've ever been. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not proud of anything. Pretty much. No. <laughs> Oh god. Is it better to work at a job you love or a job that pays well? Uh, depends on if it's like going to be your like rest of your life career kind yeah. of thing. And how how not love is not love. Like, oh, I don't love it, but it pays well, but do I like it? Because I can do a job I like. It, but Jesus Why? Why? fucking Christ! Why did she just cancel her flutter thingy? She just stopped. She was like, nah, I'm done. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about summer? Well, it's not the heat. It's not the bugs. The heat. That's your favorite thing about summer? Yeah, I like the heat. I don't at all. I'd much rather be cold than hot. I like the heat. Nah, it depends on how cold we're talking. If it's cold enough, Ooh. I'd fuck that shit. Ooh. Ooh. There's one. There's one. There's one. There was some fucked up game show that doesn't exist anymore called The Hot Seat. And they sat you in a chair, and they it was like it was like a, you know, like a fucking computer-generated hot or cold, and they fucking cooked or froze your ass with extreme temperatures while you had to answer trivia questions or some such shit. 
and you could call it off, but the longer you went, the more questions you could answer, the more money you got. Huh. It was kind of fucked. Aw, he's got a little Jinjo doll. Little oh, baby, he does, that's fucking adorable. Little baby stuffed gringo. <laughs> baby stuffed gringo. <laughs> Taking that literally. Jesus Christ. Uh, are you a risk taker? What's the biggest risk that you've taken? Eric, I think you are a risk taker. I would say, yeah. Um... Oh, get fucking shit on plant. Uh, I, I would probably say every time I climbed a building. Every one of them. Not one building in particular. Uh, well... So I feel like there was some buildings that were... riskier than others. <laughs> that but, were more illegal. Well, like, even just, like, the physical danger aspect of it. Like, sometimes, like, you're climbing up things that... Okay, to, to give a little pretext, I used to climb buildings. There's your pretext. Oh! I would I not have gathered that from context clues. <laughs> I used to climb buildings, um, and just, just for the sake of saying that I've climbed them and uh, just to be on top of them. I was with you for one of those, maybe two. And yeah, it was just it was just a game, like, see, like, oh, we found this building. Let's see if we can get to the top of it, just to, like, you know, just to win. Like, you won when you got to the top of it. But some of them were riskier than others. So, uh... You ever climb a building with people inside of it? Maybe. You're not sure? Oh, you know what? I think so. I think I've climbed a couple schools that had people on <laughs> top of it. Other people were on top of it? I mean, I mean, other people were in Oh, it. I'm like, Sorry. what did they say when you got to the top? Sorry, I'm focused on how fucking confusing this is. Like, how do I get up there? Oh, is there anything about, like, getting to all the aliens? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> I'll check, I guess. Ugh. How long has you gone without sleep? Um, this is one that I feel like a lot of people make up to. Yeah. We have a we have a coworker, uh, me and Sam, where we work, that like he posts on Facebook like gone three days without sleep, and I know he is a compulsive pathological <laughs> Bullshit liar. Bullshit, you have, sir. Who are you, who are you talking about? Um, Mr. Silverhair. You should just oh. say his name so we can believe his name is something funny. Uh, I'm too lazy. To want to edit something out later. Fine, don't then. I mean, obviously she got what you were saying, so I guess that's all I need to say. Anyways, I just know he lies and makes up that kind of stuff. But I would say for me, probably when I was a kid, because I know I can't do it anymore. Um, but I would say probably like 36 hours, maybe. I, I know it was. I got beat. How much? 38. I was with you for most of that day. You probably remember we were editing. Uh, editing, my yeah. My least favorite film I've ever made. Which one? Uh, uh, what the fuck was it? What was it called? Oh my god. Sunken Reality. Oh, Which okay. could have been so much better than it was, I just gave up caring in the middle of it. <laughs> we shot it and edited it all in one day. And then I yeah. immediately had to go help Shannon move. Oh, that was, yeah, that was like a nightmare. And I was like, Shannon, I, I, we're gonna, I'm gonna die. Like, I'm gonna kill us by accident. Yeah, I, I remember, like, I eventually got to go to sleep, and you were just like, yeah, I gotta go help people move, by 38 hours, and I absolutely almost killed her, um, because I was driving, I was driving. Yeah. And we were on the highway, and I was asleep on that highway several times, and woke up as I was going out of my lane. Yeah. What, is there, are you impatient? Are you waiting on something? Uh, we gotta end the episode. God damn it, I keep not paying attention! Okay, well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.